Let's talk about recall. What does it actually look like? The number one thing is when you're calling your dog, you want him to come to you. Most people fail at communicating with the dogs correctly. They make the recall into a bunch of different things that miscommunicate to the dog. So they'll say, hey, come here, let's go buddy, come on, let's do this, let's go for a walk. The dog doesn't really know what that means. Let's simplify the communication to get to a point where I call the dog, the dog knows I want him to come to me, informal position, be anywhere because at that point, I'm just engaging with you. From there on, I can put him in an actual formal position and put him on the heel. Watch this. And over, good answer. Now, a lot of the times I'm going to praise my dog to let him know that this is what I want to see. Good. And good. 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 As you see, the dog is staying very excited and motivated because I'm constantly letting him know, good, good. This is what I want to see. This is the behavior I want you to continue doing. Good. 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 Not enough to say anything other than just praising the dog. And he's going to continue to work for me because he knows I'm praising this behavior. Good. 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 Because from any point, if I want to put him in a formal position, but again, the dog's already engaged. Okay, so I want you guys to practice this at home, whether it be a treat, a toy, something that motivates the dog to stay engaged with you. My dog is not food motivated, he's tug motivated, and high reward as far as praise. So I can use physical touch, verbal affection as far as praise words, any kind of go boy, high pitch, things that are going to keep him excited. Okay, uh, I want you to try that and then let me know how it worked out for you.